Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel and today guys we have got episode number 2 of season 2 of the Cardiff City career mode and today we have got transfers. Now obviously there was so many suggestions in the chat, not the chat, <laughs> I was thinking my Twitch stream then, in the description or comment section, sorry the descript, no, the comment section, I can't get my words out. In the comment section on the last video, uh, there were so many suggestions for transfers, which I really do appreciate. Uh, and again, thank you all for the support on the channel. Uh, obviously, it's a new year now. Uh, I've hit 500 subscribers before 2019 started, which is what my goal was. Very happy of that. And um, in terms of money, we have 30 million in the bank, and uh, I want to sign some players uh, before the start of the season. So, Davies. Uh, very popular suggestion. Can't sign him because he's just joined the club, so I can't unfortunately try and get him. Alexander Arnold was a very suggested one, um, or highly suggested one. I'm not going to put a bid in just yet. I'm going to go through all the players that are here on the list. Ben Woodburn again could be a good backup for Loftus Cheek. Um, in Cuckoo, he's just joined uh, Huddersfield apparently. Um, oh wait, no, he's just joined. Who's he just joined? It says Huddersfield, so I can't sign him. Uh, Harvey Barnes here as well, he can play left mid or cam, so he could be a good replacement or a backup player for um, Hoyler. Um, so I'll wait on, on him. Phil Foden again, he'd be a really good signing, uh, I think, to have as a backup for Loftus Cheek. Um, Fernandez, unfortunately, that apparently they won't sell him at any price because uh, he's too important for them. He did look quite good, so I'm a bit annoyed about that. Um, Macon here, uh, sorry, Macon here, um, I'm not actually going to sign him, I don't think I need another centre mid, I think I've got enough, Dante was suggested for a backup centre mid, uh, seat centre back, sorry, I'm not too sure, I'm probably going to, he would be the last one I would sign, just in, because I want to sign the young players first, or the younger players, uh, with most of my money, so, uh, Yera, I don't know, I'm pretty sure it's Yera, or Yere, Yere, I'll call him. Yere, why not? Um, the centre back from Bilbao. He looks like a decent little player. Um, I'm gonna put him on the. I'm gonna keep him here. I'm not gonna put a bid in just yet. Uh, then we got Ben Davies. Unfortunately, he's 20. He could be like 20 million, but I think with the money I've got, I might be able to get him. And Charlie Mudsunder is the player that I want to buy. Um, these guys, obviously, Saar, He's just joined Derby, so I can't get him either, uh, which is frustrating. So first player I'm going for is Charlie Mudsunder. Because now Narsing is a good player, yeah, but he just he kind of dropped off towards the end of the season, and I've, I'm pretty sure if I'm correct, he's getting a bit old. So what I'm going to actually do is see if they would want to swap Narsing. Now this could work, and it doesn't work. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to um, offer a transfer fee. Uh, uh, offer transfer fee. I'm going to give them 10 million. That's what I'm going to ask. 10 million, and so let's see if they'll take that. Okay. That's fair enough. I will accept that. That's decent for us, you know. Um, hopefully, we can sign him because he's still only 22, and I do think he's going to be a, a good player for us uh, if we can actually sign him. So, hopefully, obviously, this is going to be quite bad because he's going to want probably first team football. So, yeah, as I was saying, guys, um, he is going to be a good player, I do think. You know, like I said, he's only 22. I'm going to try and give him a release clause because it will lower his wages down um, quite a bit. I don't know if he'll want that. Yeah, that's fine. And then we can move on to his salary. Now, he's on 68 grand. I don't know if he's going to... I'm going to give him that again. But then we also lose out quite a bit. Give him that. Advance. Add a bonus. I don't know for the... If you score 10 goals, I'll give you a 100 grand bonus. Why not? Let's try that. Okay, boom. Maybe maybe overpaid a little bit. So now, the th question is, who do I sign? Do I sign Arnold or do I sign Ben Davies? Because I think, as much as I would like to get these youngsters, um, I just don't... Even Ben Woodburn, I think, you know, he could easily come in if I sign Alexander-Arnold or Ben Davies. Now, I'm just thinking, Patterson is probably the better of Cunningham and Patterson, to be honest. So I think I'm going to try and get Ben Davies now. I don't think I'm going to be able to get him because I think he's a bit expensive for us with our budget left over. But we could try and potentially get a swap deal. So I'm, what I'm going to do is first going to try and do a swap deal. Um, 
let's see if I can do a swap deal. If I put someone like Bennett in there, maybe? They probably won't want this. Plus 30 million. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, we're probably not going to get Ben Davies, unfortunately. Uh, I don't think he's going to have... I don't think we're going to get anywhere near the asking price uh, for Ben Davies. I don't think... Yeah, there's no chance. I, I just don't have the money to get Ben Davies, unfortunately. Um, so, with that being said, I, f I don't know what to do. Do I go for... See, if I go look at the team now, just quickly, because I, I am a bit unsure. Patterson, you know, he's tw uh, 74 rated uh, and he's only 24, but he can play centre mid and right back. So I think he's perfect there. Morrison, you know, he's 29, I think now, 28. So he's 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 getting old a bit, you know, but Amplitude's in there, 18. He's working really well. Cunningham, 28 now, so I could hope I could maybe improve on him. Rouse is here as well. Camaras has just come back from injury, but he's not fit to play. We also have Decore on the bench. So I think Loftus-Cheek and Origi stay there. Narsing is 28, Hoylet's, what, 29, so, yeah, replacing these two is probably key, um, if I'm being honest, so, what I'm going to do, obviously, I've just signed, um, I just signed, what's his name, I just signed Masunda for the right wing, so what I'm going to do now is go for Ben Woodburn and put him play him on the left wing, because it says he can play left wing, so hopefully... I can get this deal done. I'm going to just offer 3 million for him. Uh, they want 3, 3 million 750. I will take that and hopefully we can sign him straight away because we've got actually a game against Burnley on this uh, day of me doing the transfers. So hopefully I can get that all wrapped up. Uh, if I do rotational, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do rotational. Oh, well, he's probably going to be playing a lot of games anyway. Uh, four year deal. Perfect, happy days. Right, now we just need to get his contract done. Okay, that's not even that much, so I'm going to accept that. Boom, Ben Woodburn is in the squad. Now, how much money do we have left over? Because we could potentially get another signing in. Um, 13 million, let me just adjust that. I think I need to adjust that a bit, just so I have a bit of wage. Uh, yeah, I'll just do that. So, we do have quite a bit of money left, so... Debating if I go in for Dante to put him in the back, um, just because look, we only have Decore as a centre back. Uh, ben Woodburn will come up here. Uh, so will Musunda. Now the question is, who do I take off? Josh Murphy probably comes off there, and Narson goes there. Or do I put Mendes Lang there? Ben Woodburn comes in for Cooper, obviously, uh, and I'm going to replace him with Hoylett for now. You know, Hoylett has done a great job for us uh, so far. But I think, I just think that, that these two are getting old and it would be better to have them come on as a sub instead of starting and playing most of the game. We've still got Reed as our backup striker, um, which then could potentially leave us with... So I have a right wing and left wing backup, so realistically Murphy can come out for someone else. But in terms of centre-backs, we only have Decore, who's the only s spare centre-back. So what I'm thinking about doing is bringing in Dante for a season... Um, for like 3 million uh, I think just because Ampadu and Decore they can play like the cup games uh, like play the cup games how much is this guy okay he was valued at hmm hmm do I try and get this guy let me try let me just try it I don't know if I have enough money for him uh, to be honest if not we can go with Dante for a season so he's worth 10 million how about I give you the exact price you want 15 oh no that's not good let me try 11 oh, I don't think I do not think we're going to be able to get him I don't think by the looks of this but I will still try I will still try um, let me offer 13 no, I'm not even going to be able to get him they need some time. We're not going to sign him with that. So what I'm going to do, you know, he's 35, but I'm just going to try and sign him for a season. Have him play alongside Morrison. 
and then I'll have Ampadu and Decore ready to come on uh, for, let me offer 2 million. Okay, that's not too bad, I'll take that, except we can even potentially bring in another signing, to be honest, one of the youngsters, uh, maybe Phil Foden, because then we can drop, maybe drop Loftus-Cheek back, squad roll crucial, yeah, he will be starting games for Morrison, uh, just a two year, I think he's only going to want one, oh no, two years, okay, that's not too bad. I'm making a lot of transfers in this uh, episode. I will be playing a game as well. Um, if I counter that and just remove his bonus, just to save myself a bit more money, and then he's going to ask for... Oh, wait, he just... Okay, that's perfect. So there we go, guys. Another new signing to the club uh, within the summer window. We're making a lot of moves um, this season. So what I'm going to do <clears throat> is bring Dante up to here. Probably put him down there. Put him there. And then put Ampadu on the bench. Uh, what foot is he? Yeah, he's left, so he can stay there. So those two there. I mean, it's not a bad signing. Yeah, I know he's old, but he's got the experience. Hopefully, he can do a job for us. Uh, Ampadu and Decore will play both games together in like the cup and stuff. Um, I, I can even do this and have Ampadu as the CDM and have Decore as the centre-back uh, substitution role. So, I mean, realistically, I could probably bring in another player. I am tempted to bring in another player. Now this is dragging on a lot, but I hope you guys are enjoying it. I am enjoying. I am enjoying doing the transfers. So what I'm going to do. I'm just going to reject him. Can't get him. Don't need another left wing. Uh, ben Davies. I can't get. Oh, Phil Foden. I didn't mean to get rid of him. Now what about these two as backup? I have got Reed actually. I don't really need to do that. Um, I think for now I'm going to leave it and let it uh, leave it up to you guys. Is the like substitutions and that? Uh, sub, su sorry, not subs. I mean signings. Are the signings good enough? We brought in Dante, the centre back. Uh, Ramsey was on the pre-contract as well. We brought in Ben Woodburn, Charlie Musunda. Uh, so we got four new players um, for this summer window. Uh, we got a load of youngsters in the squad as well. Um, Camarasas. Oh, five new signings because Camarasas has come back. Um, so obviously Camarasa will go in here. This is what the team will look like for the first game of this, or second game of the season because Cam Rest is still not fully fit for the game we're about to play. So, I think the team's not bad. And obviously I've got Narsing and Hoyler who can come on uh, for these two guys. Um, so yeah, I do think this team is quite strong. So, um, what I'm going to do now is uh, save that. And if I'll quickly show you guys what we have for the last bit of the episode. We do have a game at home against Burnley which I will be playing, and um, yeah guys, Middlesbrough, Spurs and Arsenal for August for Cardiff, so yeah, I'm going to jump into this game and I will be right back. Right guys, here we are, first game of the season, um, in the Premier League in Season 2, we've got the new signings, there's one of them, Aaron Ramsey, hopefully we can get all three points in this first game of the season, so yeah, let's get into the game. Burnley on the attack here with Gray, whips the ball in, Dante's there to clear, the new signing, getting his head onto that. And we're actually going to counter-attack here with Masunda, plays in Origi, is he offside? Yes he is, unlucky there. You know, we are creating some good chances here though. Oh, Dante, great interception, plays it into Origi, gives it to Woodburn on the wing. Ben Woodburn cuts aside, gives it back to Origi. Origi! Oh my god, how have you missed that? Oh, it must have been saved or deflected, I guess. But we got another corner. Patson! Oh, it's off the line! Loftus cheek. Oh, we couldn't get another chance. Can we get the ball back into the box? Dante on the ball again. Into Rouse. Into Origi. Going to play it to Loftus cheek. Can he shoot? No. Oh, Origi here. Slides in bed. Woodburn. He's got a bit of space on the defenders. It's Woodburn. Can he shoot? Woodburn. Oh, he put it over the bar. Such a great chance there. As you see the goal line technology for the header off the line. Let's just see how far away we were. We're probably way over. Yeah. Nowhere near. But, you know, creating these chances, a goal is definitely coming. Oh, Origi plays a nice ball to Ben Woodburn again. He's loving it right now in his debut game. Can he cut it back? 
Oh, Rigi just gone past him. Nearly getting the goal there. Burnley pressing on just before half time. Can we get the ball clear? No, how have they scored? Oh, and he's offside. He's offside. Oh, we got away with that there. We got away with that. I was going to say, they've had like one shot this game. And that is half time, lads. We should have scored. We should be winning this game. But we go on. We move on into the second half. Do collect it now with Patterson. With Burn. With Burn's going to go for a shot. Ah, it's not a good effort. Burnley on the ball. They've got men in the box. Whips it to the back post. Oh, what is the keeper doing? Oh, my God. How have they scored? I think that's their second shot of the game. What is the keeper doing? Oh, it's not a good. Not even a great. Look at that for an attempt to save it. It's not good. We're 1-0 down to a header from Aaron Lennon at the back post. Again, Burnley coming down the wing. Lennon keeps it in, whips it in. Dante clears. And we're going to go on a counter-attack of our own with Woodburn. He can't keep the ball. And Burnley are coming straight back at us with a shot. Easy save for the keeper. Right, lads, we've just made um, three subs. Woodburn, Masunda and Rouse coming off for Ampadu, Hoyler and Narsing. Just wanted to freshen up the, um, the team, uh, bringing on some more attackers. And, um, yeah, that's what I've done there. Not a great chance there by Burnley as we do take this goal kick. Can we get a chance from this straight away? Origi's picked up the ball, gives it to Hoyler. Hoyler, he's still, still got it from last season. Origi. Not really many options here. Hoyler cuts inside, lays it off to Ampadu. Going to play it inside to Narsing. How's he missed that? Another chance. I think that was his first touch as well. He's missed it completely wide. Oh, Rigi here. He's in some decent space. There's not really much support with him. Going to switch it to Narsing. Can he head the ball back across? No, he can't. Can we get the ball back here off Burnley? They try to play a ball over the top. Patterson clears it into Ampadu, down to Narsing, into Origi, into Loftus Cheek. Can we switch the ball into Ramsey? Switch it down to Cunningham on the left back position. Inside to Hoyler. Hoyler. Oh, it's wide. Another chance for Cardiff there. 15 or so minutes left before the end of this game. Can we get an equaliser and then go on to try and get a winner? Oh, Burnley again on the attack. Can we get the ball out? Keeper come out. Well in. Ampadu heads it down to Loftus Cheek. Can we spread it across to Narsing? Give it back to Loftus Cheek. Oh, I tried to play it to Origi. Hoyle. Oh, nearly won the ball back again. Morrison coming across. Going to play it to Cunningham. Into Ampadu. Into Loftus Cheek. Come on, Cardiff. Can we get a goal? Origi on the ball. To Loftus Cheek. To Narsing. Just about to Patterson now. Patterson. Can he get a good delivery in? Oh, it's gone for a corner now. Whipped in. Origi. Loftus Cheek. Oh, it's straight at Tom Eaton. Oh, again. Another chance missed. Come on. Oh, come on. What was that? We need to get the ball back if we want to have another chance, which I don't think we're going to get the ball back. No. This is going to be the end of the game, guys, unless Burnley score again. And that's the end of the game. Oh, how have I lost? How have I lost? I'm going to go look at the stats because that is an absolute joke. I just don't get it. I don't. We dominated the whole game. We just couldn't take our chances. Anyway, you guys, that is the end of the video. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you are new around here. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.